What's up creatives, it's Seb here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna showing you how to easily create these awesome viral trending before and after color palette videos super easily, all thanks to Burst Smudge, who's actually created two templates that we can use inside of After Effects, and you'll see it only takes a couple of minutes to get them up and running. So the first thing is, of course, you're gonna to wanna to download the templates, head to this website, as well as check out Burst Smudge's YouTube channel. All the links will be linked down below. And then you can either click on this one, which is the squared one or the color wheel one which is right here go ahead and download them and then once you've done that open up after effects once you've opened up after effects you'll be greeted by this little scene right here so you're going to have a version one and version two so there's slightly different versions so this one zooms in a little bit and then this one has a little bit of a glitch effect now from here what we want to do is add our before and after photo so in the raw section just go ahead and drag in your before photo and then you just want to scale that down to meet the entire size of the frame. So here I've got it at 35. We also want to go to our edited photo and then again just drag and drop our edited photo. Press S to get the scale open and then once again make it 35. So if you cycle between these you should see that it doesn't actually change. So if we had it at 40 for example you'll see that there is a bit of a jump, so that's gonna look weird in the actual transition. So make sure that they are both the same size. Okay, so now that we have our before and after photo, if we head over to the final renders, you'll notice that this is our before photo and then this is our after photo. But you'll also see that there is a color palette section here. So if we head over to the change color palette, what we need to do is actually grab the colors from our photo. So in order to do this, we want to head over to coolers.co, go ahead and sign in. You can sign in via Google, it's completely free. And then head over to tools and then image picker. Now from here, we want to go ahead and import our after photo. So go ahead and drag that in. And if we head back to After Effects, you'll notice that there are one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. Here you can see there are only five. So click on the plus button, it's gonna create a last one for us. And then from here, you can either keep the colors that it's picked, or you can actually go ahead and drag out and custom pick your colors. So for example, if you've got like skin tones, it's good to include that like different colors, like black, um, gray, all of that, and like the trees, all really good. So just make sure that your whole timeline here has quite a very amount of different colors. Once you've done that, click on export palette. We then wanna export this as an image. Go ahead and give it a title. So we'll just call it palette after, and then press export. Save this to the same folder you have your before and after photo. Exit this out and then back into After Effects on the change color palette here. You just have to import that in and as you can see, that is completely good for us to go. Now that we've done this, you'll see that our palette has actually changed. And for the final step, all we have to do is go under controls. And then here you can see we have all of our keyframes. So what we wanna do is head over to the end part of our keyframe. And then color one, we just wanna make sure that it is actually linking back to the same stuff. So if we reference back to here, and then what you wanna do, we click on it, we can see color one is here, and it's going on the top of a castle. So color one, so what we need to do is open this up, and then you can go ahead and drag that to the same part of the image. And then we just wanna do the exact same for color two. And then you get the point, just keep rinsing and repeating. And once you've done that, you'll have a final result, which looks like this. So here you can see all the colors have been matched up with coolers and After Effects. So now if we actually go ahead to the very start of the video, we'll see all of our colors. So they're all generating and then boom, they're all going to their respective color spots. And there you go, you now have your finished image. You can of course go ahead and change the text if you want. So you just have to remove this hide all layers and then you'll see that the text appears, unlock that and then you can go ahead and change it. But the good thing about these templates is that the sound is already inside After Effects. So you don't actually have to go ahead and import the sound from Instagram or wherever. But again, you can just disable that if you want. But there you go, that's pretty much it. So as you saw, easy peasy. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Go ahead and check out Burst Smudge's YouTube channel because he's created these super easy for us to use and we can just go viral on Instagram. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.